Hi and welcome to Fun Swedish. Music is a great way to learn any language. That's how I learn a lot of English. When I was nine years old, I spent hours translating the lyrics of my favorite band Spice Girls to Swedish. It was also during this time that I realized the real meaning of the lyrics that I had been singing. And it was not a very innocent lyrics. Like the song When Two Become One by the Spice Girls. But at least I improved my English a lot. So we suggest you to do the same but with Swedish songs. Find a song that you like and translate to your language. And in order to help you, today we're going to mention some Swedish artists that actually sing in Swedish. We will look at the most played Swedish songs on Spotify in Sweden last year. We will learn a little bit about the artist and learn some Swedish vocabulary along the way. I will start on number eight and go down to number one, the most played Swedish song last year. On number eight we have Lose My Mind by Myra Granberg. The title of the song is in English, but Myra actually sings the whole song in Swedish. But how do you say lose my mind in Swedish? You can say it in many different ways, but in these lyrics it kind of says if I lose my mind. And in Swedish that would be om jag blir galen. The word galen really means crazy. But if you put it together with the verb blir, then it kind of works like the English lose my mind. Myra is a great artist and she actually has a very good name and last name to practice some Swedish. Myra actually means aunt in Swedish and her last name Granberg could be translated to something like Pine Tree Mountain. So on number eight on this list of the most played Swedish songs in Swedish we have Aunt Pine Tree Mountain with her song Lose My Mind. Number seven, Barn av vår tid by Hov 1. Barn av vår tid, the title, means children of our time. And the song kind of criticizes how the singer's generation acts and thinks. And also a little bit on how it is for them to grow up in the Swedish society nowadays. And Hov 1, the name of this Swedish hip hop band, consists of four guys. Dante, Ludwig, Axel och Noe. And one of the members of this band, Ludwig, used to be a high school sweetheart with a very famous Swedish singer called Sara Larsson. She sings mostly in English, but she's very famous for her song Lush Life. Next song, Du måste finnas by New Kid. The translation of this Swedish title would be something like You must exist. This song is actually a cover of an older song, but it got very famous after it was played in a very popular Swedish TV show called Så mycket bättre, where famous artists interpret other artists' famous song, making a new version. So a very popular TV show about music where almost all the Swedish artists have participated, except ABBA. We're still waiting for ABBA to join. Number five, Svag by Victor Lexell. Svag does not mean swag in English. Svag is our word for weak. This Swedish pop song is basically about love and how love makes you feel very weak. So now that we are almost halfway through the list, let's take a short break to put a like and subscribe if you haven't done it yet. Have you done it? Good. Then we are ready to continue. Number four on the list, the hip hop band Hov Et back again on the list, but this time featuring a very famous Swedish rapper called Einar. This song is called Gamorra and it kind of refers to gangster life. This song was played a lot last year because the singer Einar was shot and killed in 2021. This tragic death of this singer was a lot on the news in Sweden but also internationally. Number three, Samma gamla vanliga by A36. This is also a Swedish hip hop and rap song. And the title of this song, Samma gamla vanliga, can kind of be translated to the same old and ordinary thing. I guess they're talking about life here in Sweden. It's always the same. This song is really good to translate if you want to learn a lot about Swedish slang and bad words. And very useful if you want to understand more the Swedish they talk in the Swedish Netflix series 
Snabba Cash. And now we have come to the song that was the second most played song on Spotify here in Sweden in 2021. Tystnar i luren by Miriam Bryant and Victor Lexell. Miriam is a great singer and here she does a collaboration with Victor Lexell, this guy we saw earlier on the list. And they sing together a song called Tystnar i luren, which is basically about dating and ghosting someone. And there's a very common slang word in the title of this song. And lur is slang for phone and luren would be the phone. So it's very common that we say instead of telefon, luren. And tystnar basically means it gets silent. So the full title would be it gets silent on the phone. I guess we have all experienced ghosting from Swedes in some way or another. Like when you get ghosted from Migrationsverket, who ignores your visa application to Sweden? The most played Swedish song on Spotify 2021 was Bablanas Vagvisa. This is the Swedish version of Baby Shark. Bablanas Vagvisa is a very popular lullaby by the famous cartoon Bablana. I guess this song gets to number one on the list because children like repetition a lot. That's how they learn language so fast. And by putting on this song on Spotify, the parents finally get some time alone. So this was one list of some famous Swedish songs and hopefully they can help you a little bit to learn more Swedish vocabulary even if you like them or not. Since you also know a lot of Swedish music, feel free to add the name of your favorite Swedish artist or song in the comment section below so that we can share it with our fun Swedish community. Hej då!